What's up everybody? How's it going? And welcome back to the channel. So today I got a small little haul. I picked up the day before Thanksgiving 2021. Today is Friday the 25th or uh, 26th, which is the day after Thanksgiving. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody? How's it going? And welcome back to the channel. So before we get started today, please like, comment, subscribe, and smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Like I said, this is just a little haul. Um, I picked up a lot of other stuff um, in the same day. But I'm breaking everything up into the increments of what I purchased it in. I purchased these at the same same time, just separate purchase, um, as the 3 8 and half inch new Atomic Impact, Compact Impact wrenches um, that I got the free 5 amp hours with. I just did these on a separate receipt. Um, so everything here was $70.36. So I picked this up. I like these little DeWalt ca uh, little cases. And, it, and these will fit in their other modular cases. Um, that's something I like about them. And these come with like little refills. And you know, more than likely, I'll just take some Milwaukee blades or Husky blades or whatever extra blades I have. And I'll drop them in these trays and just keep using the trays. Um, there is a lot of oil in these. Um, they definitely are well oiled. I picked up the 16 and 25 foot of the Tough Series tape measures. I do like them. Both of these have the removable mag magnet. The reason I picked these up is because I actually have, actually have the 35 footer right here um, that I got weeks ago. It does have the magnet on it. <coughs> I use tape measures a lot for automotive stuff, especially um, measurements like um, measuring from the ground to you know midpoint of tires or fender wells um, because I'm doing modifications for customers on um, you know lift kits you know they they want a specific uh, size tire I measure um, from the bottom of the the ground to the top of the tire and then I measure from the center of the rim to the top of the tire and then center of rim to the top of the fender well and everything to base out the measurements on for what tire size they want um, with what rim size they want to what size lift they're going to need um, and sometimes you know a lot of tape measures they don't have removable magnets like this older one right here so it gets gets junked up really bad um, because Arizona dirt is is got a lot of magnetic material in it. Um, I love this self locking uh, chem, uh, chemelon or chameleon. I call it a chameleon. It's, it's probably uh, pronounced chemelon, but um, the magnetic tip. They did come out with another version of this where the magnet is actually here. There's two magnets here, but. Um, it doesn't have the 1 8 quarter, 3 8 half inch, 5 8 3 quarter, 7 8 um, cheater measurements on it. The DeWalt's don't have the cheater measurements either. Um, but they're very well made, very nice. Um, I do wish that, you know, here's the front. I wish the back was oriented the other direction. And I'll show you what I mean. I wish the backs were oriented similar to this guy right here. So if I flip, the numbers are sideways here. But if you flip them, you can see how the numbers, instead of being, you know, going with the tape, they're actually in a vertical fashion, like, you know, height measurements. Uh, but it's not a big deal. Um, these are really nice tape measures. They also do have information on the back. So three and three quarters is the back to the front. So you can actually just set this against the wall and you can add three and three quarter, three inches and three quarters of an inch to your measurement. Um, I really like the, the DeWalt Tough Series tape measures, to be honest. Uh, the smaller one, um, 
figured my wife can use it. It fits in her hand a little bit better. The 25 um, is the normal size that I carry everywhere, 25 footer. 35, I don't necessarily carry all the time, but when I do need that, I grab it. Um, but these are really nice tape measures, and this the model numbers are pretty similar. So, Dog Whiskey Henry Tony 36916. The 1 6 stands for 16 foot. DeWalt's good about, you know, the last number usually representing what the item is. Um, uh, DWHT 36916. Um, it is also on the tape measure right here, um, which the cam, it's too small for the camera to pick up. Uh, Dog Whiskey Henry Tony 36925 for 25 foot or DWHT 36925 and then this guy right here I don't have the box anymore but it is uh, Dog Whiskey Henry Tony 36935 for 35 foot or DWHT 36935 these are are all the brand new tape measures they just came out with um, which came out exact same time as their new Tough Series screwdriver hand screwdriver set, as well as the Atomic 3 8 and half inch impact wrench. So the the DCD um, 921 and 923. Oh, DCF 921 and 923, as well as the DC, uh, DCF 850 impact driver, and the DCF 840 impact driver as well. Um, but not a lot of stuff here. The wind outside is really bad. Um, been pretty, pretty strong winds. Doesn't sound strong, but the flag is just, just whipping. Um, give you guys a quick um, tour. I did start on Sky. My wife took the truck today. Uh, but I did uh, start on Sky. I did strip the panel off so I can start pulling this metal back out because it did get dented in a little bit. Um, this very resilient truck. Um, that's why I love third gens. I actually have the fender over here. The outer fender. Sitting right here. And I also took off the... Um, took off the, the fender flare, the extra fat lip um, wide flare, so you can see a lot of the damage. Uh, but just a quick, just a quick view. Um, you know, it, it's been windy on and off all night. I got some. 20 volt batteries there and a couple 12 volt tools there um, for you guys that we're going to be doing videos on. I do appreciate, want to say thank you to all of you guys. Um, you guys are the reason that these tape measures are bought. This set was bought. You were the reason that this two pack was bought and this two pack was only $69 more than a single 18650 2 amp hour. So Lowe's is um, selling these two amp hour 18650 batteries for 99 bucks um, for exactly 69 more dollars. You can get 12 amp hours or two, which is two six amp hour 21700 cell batteries. And I didn't have any of these, so I picked it up. Um, these are normally 199 plus. Um, and then we picked up. 921, 923, Atomic, picked up the 840 impact driver that just came out, the 850 impact driver that just came out. Um, and those two tools ended up getting two of the old school fives for free. So that was a good deal as well. But let's get these out of the package. real quick for you guys. And I 
I just cut these with the box cutter on the side. Fold it open. See how it folds. Take the magnetic sleeve out. Get that one out. So that one's that one. And the way this works, this just they feel really nice in the hand. I really like that. Nice and glossy. Um, so the way these magnet magnetic adapters work, just to show you guys, because I didn't show you guys on the 35 foot, is this smaller section you slide under the very bottom pin. So this small section where my finger is, you slide under the bottom pin. This section will groove into the middle pin. So you go like that. And then you just push and it snaps in. Then if you want to take it out, you can push forward. That's cool. So if it's locked, if you pull hard enough, it will unlock unlock it automatically. That's pretty neat. Um, these can be a little hard though. But um, magnet fits in, nice. Um, the 35 was pretty easy. I got used to it. Pop forward, pull out, drop in, lock. So after doing it a few times, it gets easy. This one right here. So we got that one with the magnet in it. Okay. I got it right there. Flip it open, slide down, pull the magnet out, and then push the belt clip up and twist and pull out. That's it for that guy. So then this one's the same. Grab the magnet, slide over the bottom, pop in. It's good to go. Then if you want, you can just remove it, no big deal. This one on the back for the 16 footer says three inch, three inches, you add three inches exactly. If you just butt this up against the wall like this. So if I wanted to measure from here to here, as an example, I butt it up here, slide, magnet will do its job. You lock it down, it's at 13. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteenths. So thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and ten sixteenths. That's what this is. Or you could also, you know, do like most people do, old school, and just measure it like that. But um, same with this one. This one says three three and three eighths of an inch. And then the 35 footer says three and a quarter. Um, so it's nice that it gives you the measurements so you can just look at the back of the tape measure and be like, oh, okay, well, I want you butted up against the wall. I'm just gonna add that to my measurement. Um, it's these guys, so now I have all three of them. And then this guy will cut open real quick. And I use box cutter blades a lot. Um, I've got probably 200 uh, Milwaukee and about 100, 200 Husky standard blades. And then I have like 150 or 200 um, hook blades. Um, and then I have uh, like 100 of the 
um, the Husky serrated blades, but I use them quite often um, to the point that I'm actually running low on, on the regular blades. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to pick up little kits like this. It wasn't very much. I think this kit, if I remember correctly, was like 13 something dollars, 14 97 something like that. Um, these little cases are, whoa. Tripods collapsing on me, guys. These cases are always uh, always handy. I have a lot of these cases. It is nice that you've got these little trays. And this is a 90, 90 piece set. Not sure why my alarm keeps going off. The door is closed. the door was one millimeter from not being closed. There you go. That's open. There is lots of oil on these. Nice layer of oil. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen. So it's thirty, sixty, and ninety. So there is ninety blades. They're not even counting the case. Um, so ninety blades. So it shows one case plus one set in the case, and then two refills. So ninety blades. Uh, this is item number uh, Delta Whiskey Henry Tony 97529. Tip strength is really high. Wear resistance is really low and life is kind of in the middle. Um, double hardened edge. Blade case and two refill packs with double hardened utility blades. I bought it for um, the trays um, that will fit in this case. Um, I figured they're, they're Pretty nice little setup. I can add these to one of my little cases um, as an example. You know, it fits in these little these little tough case pluses um, where you could put, literally put this tray will actually fit in here if you remove these, but it will fit in the larger because you can get those trays in like three or four different sizes. Here is the tough case plus mid size so i could throw it in here if i wanted to um, or you can throw it into the larger one and all these cases what's great about these cases that i like is that um they all snap um, in here so i can drop this one right there Um, these DeWalt cases I think are one of my favorites so here's here's one of these little cases with a bunch of bits in it and if I want to I could pop this out put a new another one in and these are nice they just slide in so boom now I got blades in there simple as that that's what I love about these things where the Milwaukee ones um, are a lot more difficult because the Milwaukee ones have rounded pins and you got to slide it in one end and then you got to push and widen the case just to get this side to pop in and they're a lot harder to take out where these just have three slide grooves in them so the Walt makes them pretty easy for quick interchange um, that's always nice and then 
all you got to do for this one is slide this, this little center hook right here. Just butt it up against it, pop it, and boom. These cases are amazing. Um, so that is awesome. I do like that it did a little set of these and some extra blades. Um, I'm going to see if I can pop, yeah, pop these out. I'm going to leave these covers on these two. That way they're a little bit protected. I'm going to put these in the toolbox. Um, but that is all I got for you guys today. Just a quick video. It, I never intended it on being 20 minutes, but I hope the information was helpful. Um, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me, checking out the video. Um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, just again, want to say thank you to all of you guys that watch the channel and gals, you are as the reason the channel is monetized and why I picked up all these tools. Uh, got the channel paid for $1,500 worth of tools um, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, got some deals on them, uh, so it wasn't as expensive as the $1,500, but that is what they are worth. They are worth about $1,520 something dollars um, retail price. Um, so we're gonna be doing lots of videos for you guys since you guys are the reason that they are coming to the channel and I get to enjoy them and use them when I'm working on vehicles and wood and, uh, and projects around the house and stuff as well. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day as always and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace!